Just look at this. Can you believe it? Oh, look at all these people just lying around. Do any of them look like they're having fun? Do they even look alive? No, they all look like this and this. Our whole town might as well be asleep. Bayview needs to shake off its doldrums and pull together to be all that we can be. I like have the perfect solution. Get everyone to wear these. Nobody can be like unhappy in knee-high yellow go-go boots. Look. Impossible. They're so like 60s, so hair, so Goldie Hawn. They make your whole body like feel like singing. to unite the people of this town against their common enemy. Tedious, monotonous, stagnant, vegetative, catatonic boredom! Like, hi, boys! Good morning. Hey. See what I mean? Do none of you see my happy boots? Feeling groovy! It's Monday, okay? It's more than Monday! It's every day! It's last week's football game! Mm -hmm. Hey! Oh. Ho! Whatever. A town spirit begins with the energy of its youth. But look at us! Even our bullies have lost their will to torment others. Push him in that puddle and laugh. You push him in the puddle and laugh. Town spirit starts with school spirit. Has no one but me noticed we've had the same class pet since 1912? How can we have any school spirit when our campus flag is a student being carried off by vultures? Actually, that's better than our last flag. A school with a broken heart being sucked into a black swirling vortex of nothingness. It was kind of depressing. Apathy is a disease. What's like apathy? <gasps> apathy. Uh, oh, here it is. Laziness, boredom, lack of interest, droopiness. It's all a disease. If you let it spread, there's no telling what depths you could sink to. It's up to us to do something about this. I'm telling you. Knee-high yellow boots. I just want to sing! Get serious. Pa-ay? Oh, sorry, Bobby Boo Boo. I gotta go play a big person game. Mr. Piggy Bank's full, so Agnes and me are taking the senior charter shuttle bus to Gamble City. <laughs> oh, we'll eat some cheap food and then dump this 15 bucks into the slot machine. <laughs> then after we lose it all, we'll catch Ricky Martin's show. Yeah, and maybe follow him back to his hotel room and pick the lock. Oh, I got to be the looker right here, big boy. Oh, kitty will play with ya. Hmm, you're my favorite. I'm going to eat you last. Plus, they go with, like, everything. Sandra, the answer to our town's apathy is not yellow boots. Think spirit. Think heavyweight boxer level self-esteem. Think bone brain. Oh, yeah? Swamp face, not you! Bone brain of that rock band, them too. In the name of looking less gross, help the homely buy a new nose. Wow, like Plastic Aid. 
They raised like 50 gajillion dollars to buy cosmetic surgery for the homely. That's the answer! Nose jobs for the whole school? No, Sandra. The power of song. Rock music drives every movie, every hip TV show, every bum-wiggling gene-selling commercial. Only rock stars can truly save the world. Especially rock stars with, like, knee-high yellow boots! Fellow Bay viewers, this Friday, you're all invited to the first annual Heal the Town Motivational Rock Concert! <laughs> I heard if you play those rock songs backward, you go completely googly-eyed insane and try to eat a ship! This concert will be for people of all ages, and our headliner will be the hot new band, Escape from Alcatraz! Escape from Alcatraz? Who are those losers? Oh, no, 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 no way! I'm not musical! Look, I can't even tap my foot! Too late. I already made the posters. Hey, how come I'm the drummer? You were the only one with your hands up in the school picnic photo. A squirrel was trying to rob me. <laughs> Look out! He's got an acorn! <laughs> I'll write the music and the lyrics. And I'll stand on stage in knee yellow boots with one of those things that makes a shakalaka whack sound. I would love to, really, but even if we had talent and could sing, where are we going to get instruments and a place to rehearse? No, no, don't bat the eyes. <sighs> you guys can make as much noise as you want in here. Uh, gee, thanks. Ooh, there are light bulbs in the back of this thing. Those are tubes. This is classic equipment. Classic? It's old. The spiders in the drums have beards. Ah, the times we had. Dancing on a Thursday, Thursday night. Dancing on a Thursday night. Big tongues. Flash pot. Have fun, guys. Hey, Mom. Yeah, okay. I'll be home in a couple of hours. You know you're in trouble when your cell phone knows more songs than your band. <laughs> Come on, people, pull together. Make our school cheer ring out. Um, like, wouldn't it be better if it was make our school cheer bellow? So you can rhyme it with boots of yellow? Not necessarily. Okay, I see you. Get bigger and tell me what's wrong with my life, besides the fact that I was just booed by a 35-year-old spider. That looks a lot like someone I know. Hey, look at that cloud. It looks just like a guardian angel getting a massage. Ooh, yeah, under the wings. What wings? And that one looks like the lead singer from Sprook. Did you decompress too quickly on your way down? Wait, lead singer, you're giving me a hint about how to get out of this band without upsetting Julie. Don't be silly, there's no way out of it. Now that's weird. That puffy cloud just looks like a big puffy cloud. You ought to get a picture of that before it turns into something e Nope, too late. It's a poodle. If I collect enough box tops, can I get a decoder ring for you? Well, I've done enough good here. Come along, Junior. Just for that, I'm going to get famous so I won't need it an obscure deadbeat guardian angel. Three, two, one, dead ball! Never did that before! Better scram before they charge us for busting it! Oh my, you've each won the million dollar mega jackpot! Sheesh, Prissy! I thought we were gonna gamble till we lose, eat 
eat cheap food and go home with Ricky Martin's pants. Oh, Ricky. Better start pushing them back in. Darn! If this keeps up, we're gonna be here forever. Welcome to the Alcatraz Heal the Town Spirit Show! Fellow baby... <laughs> How to bootleg hot new acts and make a fortune. Where escape from Alcatraz? Did she just call us degenerate cobs of Nerfle? If my eyes go googly and I head for the marina, last sue me and tie me to this chair. Here's the music and lyrics. Well, uh, I don't read music. I had to put stickies on the keyboard to know which notes to play. So did Goon. Uh, hit this way, then, then hit this way, then, then go with boom, boom, boom on the front one. No problem. We'll play loud, and you just yell the words like Rage Against the Washing Machine. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four! Come on, people, get the spirit. Can't do nothing sleeping. Yellow knee-high go-go boots will stop your toesies weeping. Hello, me now, Dr. Steve, Dr. Fauci Dad. Nothing makes your legs rejoice like knee-high yellow boots. What? The mayor is a festering frog porridge. Bullies should have their tongues slammed in doors of north. Well, this number of the now we know. Give us this of us play, which is easier to do in yellow B or OTS. They just called us a bunch of slimy booger munchers. Get up! <laughs> Are they storming the stage for our autographs? Because <laughs> I forgot mine. Actually, I don't think it's autographs they want. It's our heads on a platter. Rock and roll! We want our own casino, Agnes. Down the concierge, we want softer steak, firmer mattresses, and three massages. Pronto! Three? Did you hear that horrible concert? That boy saying no babies are cute! <gasps> no! usually quiet and peaceful town was shaken last night by the foul lyrics of a new local rock band. When they sang janitors should drink their own suds buckets, I was outraged. Did you hear what they said about skinny kids with big glasses? They said we were nerdy. Plaid is for losers? I could have pounded them. Huh. But the stuff they said about nerds was pretty funny. When they said their vice principal was crazy, I was so mad, I told off the little man who lives in my stomach and eats the croutons in my salads. Don't you, you little rascal? No, I don't. Don't blame me. No. We didn't say any of that stuff. Well, I've had enough. I'm going home. Goon, I don't think leaving's a good idea. Especially since they built that machine to toss anyone who steps out the front door into a bucket of dead fish. Test. Well, Julie, you got your wish. I don't see much apathy out there. Oh, if we could just like get everyone to wear yellow knee-high boots. I just wanna Welcome to Parents of Kids Everybody Hates. 
Would our newest member care to begin? Uh, <clears throat> uh, I'm Quentin Eggert, and uh, I help my son start a band. Oh, dear. Intolerant people do hate modern music. When Escape from Alcatraz played, apparently my old sound system wasn't quite... <gasps> Did you say Escape from Alcatraz? stupid bit. The whole town hates us. Now I know what Frankenstein felt like. <laughs> it's Felsenstein the monster. He's the one that brought hatred into our simple arts. Mercy. He said murder. No, I said mercy. It's this crummy sound system. Hello? Is this thing on? You realize your band's already bigger than the Beatles. How do you figure that? There's five of you and there's only four of them. Hey, look at the way the marshmallow's melting in my cocoa. Doesn't it kind of look like a comb? I got your message. People see shapes that aren't there and they hear lyrics that nobody sang. Huh? It is a comb. How'd that get in there? But what can anyone do about other people's misunderstandings? Sorry, only one clue per week. I did the cloud and cocoa thing. That's all you get. Plus that song about guardian angels being useless and annoying, that was way out of line. Oh, cripes. You must be thinking of someone else. I'm a race car. Vroom, vroom. Pelswick! <sighs> oh, thank goodness I caught you before they tossed you in a bucket of dead fish. You need a manager. Sign this. Who'd manage a band everybody hates? Not the keyword everybody. Where there's everybody, there's money! I had 15 people this morning ask where they can find your CD and 20 others with big sticks who wanted to know where you're hiding. I told them Boyd's house. Stop it! He's not here! Why would they want a CD of music they all think is insulting them? So they can burn it. Sign this contract and we can have a product on the street this afternoon and in highly profitable flames by dinner time. Ace, Goon, Julie, and Sandra will never sign this. Well then, just sign right here. Beneath a Goon, Julie, and Sandra. Bunny disappeared. Hey, Mr. Hazy just hit the triple mega jackpot. The casino now belongs to him. Ha cha cha! Ding 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 ding! <laughs> what time does the new bus leave? Get your copy of this deplorable antisocial diatribe before they sell out. The thirty dollar t shirts burn the best. <laughs> I know you recording stars are real busy, so I made you a cup of tea and drank it for you. Your tea leaves kind of look like a handsome guy giving a thumbs up. Didn't we settle this? Whatever you see in a cloud or a melted marshmallow or tea leaves is all in your imagination, right? Except there are no real poodles in clouds, but there were real lyrics in our song.
This is the most offensive thing my baby and I have ever heard. We'll take a dozen. <gasps> it's him! Yeah, it's me. Get over it. Doesn't the artist get a free copy? Hey. Uh... This is blank. Hasn't anyone complained? They bought him to burn. People don't have to listen to what they already hate. Where's the recording you made off the mixing board, huh? N no, I don't think of your reputation in future. I think of the merchandising. speakers on the school roof, all of Bayview can now hear this song through proper equipment! Come on, people, get the spirit! Can't do nothing sleeping! Yellow knee-high go-go boots will stop your toesies weeping! Well, they're not controversial hate pongers after all! They're just a real lousy band with bad lyrics. Why? This is nothing but a silly song about yellow knee-high boots. Mother! Oh, you missed a very exciting time. How was your weekend? Ugh, I lost 15 bucks. So let your heart and spirit soar and always do your best, which is easier to do. 